Welcome back to the fifth installment of Midwest Mini Adventures as we travel along the Santa Fe Trail. We begin this journey at Sapling Grove Park. This peaceful 20 acre park with cool shade and an excellent spring is among the earliest campgrounds for the Santa Fe Trail. And as with many of the locations in this series, features interpretive panels from the Kansas City Area Historic Trails Association. It's easy to imagine wagons, travelers, and their livestock spread out across the grounds with plentiful grass for the animals, fresh water to drink, and wood for their fires. It was a perfect spot to rest for a night before heading out across the open prairies. In 1827, George Sibley mentions in his field notes that Sapling Grove was a very good place to camp. If the name George Sibley sounds familiar, it may be that you have been to the historic location that is also a key site on the Santa Fe Trail, Fort Osage in Sibley, Missouri. George Sibley was given the appointment of agent to Fort Osage in 1808. In 1825, he was appointed to direct the survey of the Santa Fe Trail. The popularity of this campground grew after the discovery of gold in 1848 at Sutter's Mill, California. Many seeking to find their fortune camped at Sapling Grove before heading west on the California Trail. Today the park is a pleasant place to stop and relax and walk the trail. Our next stop is Strang Park, located just a couple of miles to the south of Sapling Grove Park. This park is named for William B. Strang Jr., who in 1906 founded the Kansas City Interurban Line, which was nicknamed, obviously enough, the Strang Line. The trolley line ran from Kansas City, Missouri to Overland Park and on to Olathe, Kansas. Over the course of time, many portions of the trails that led to the west were overlapped by rail lines. Be on the lookout for a future video on William B. Strang Jr. and his historic impact on the area. Also included in this park are four historic interpretive panels. This park is currently under construction until 2022. Amazing updates are planned, but we anticipate the return of the interpretive panels and the string line rails as an integral part of this historic site. This stop is Flat Rock Creek. This tucked away 10 acre park is easy to miss, but worth the time to stop and explore. The scenic and shady location was yet another Santa Fe Trail campsite. With abundant water, shade, and ample space, it was the perfect spot for an overnight rest. An interpretive panel offers several insights from historic journals from a few guests who spent a night on the trail resting near the banks of Flat Rock Creek.
Bradshaw Park. This small park represents the rapid changes taking place from the trails to rails and motor cars. Since this location and our next location represent history on the move, we decided to stroll the short distance between the markers and take a closer look. This granite marker has been relocated three times. It began in 1906 at 105th at Flum, then moved to Canaan Lake Road and Santa Fe Trail Drive before ending up here in Bradshaw Park. Just a bit further along Santa Fe Trail Drive, these historic photographs document the original downtown section of Lenexa, Kansas, and vividly illustrate a time when wagons and motor cars existed side by side. Midwest Mini Adventures is grateful for the assistance from the Lenexa Historical Society. We urge you to visit their website for more information. Links to this website and many others showcased in this video are included below for additional information. Our final visit in this video is to the Legler Barn, another great example of history on the move. Located within the 50-acre Sarko Trails Park, the story of this barn did not begin at this location. This massive limestone structure was constructed in 1864 by Swiss immigrant Adam Legler and was located near present-day 95th and Quivira. It was so well constructed that the barn stood at its original location for over a hundred years. For travelers on the Santa Fe Trail, it became a familiar landmark as the trail passed directly through a part of the Legler property. It wasn't until the 1970s that growth in the area forced the removal of the barn. Carefully deconstructed, the structure of the barn was put into storage. The ability to rebuild the barn at its present location were due to fundraising efforts of the Lenexa Historical Society. The building is currently maintained by the city of Lenexa. Within these walls is housed the Lenexa's History Museum and Archives. We recommend you take the time to stroll the peaceful herb garden, maintained entirely by dedicated volunteers. After viewing our previous Santa Fe Trail videos, you should already be aware of our fascination with wagons and buggies from this time period. You can also view these amazing pieces of history within the Railroad Depot. Or make a plan to come out and visit the park during the annual Spinach Festival to view close up this amazing wagon. Thank you for joining Midwest Mini Adventures on our trip along the Santa Fe Trail. Please take a moment to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Be on the lookout for the next installment of the Santa Fe Trail series coming soon.